Hey there, it's Danielle Smith. For the first time today, I heard my husband express a parenting fear or concern about the possibility of our children ever being hurt playing sports. Not that I don't recognize it as a possibility. Uh, I know that my husband is excruciatingly safe when he is coaching them, whether it's soccer or baseball or, or any sport at all. But we were talking mainly because uh, this is, I guess, sort of a, a fear of my husband's, knowing that baseball is a game played with a hard ball and often an aluminum bat. And if kids aren't paying attention, there is the danger of them being hurt. My young son has expressed an interest in playing football. He's only six right now, but we've certainly heard a lot in the media, in the news, especially recently, Junior Seau, about the chances of concussion and, and other injuries that come from playing in these type of sports. Now, the conversation we had today focused a lot around how when you're swimming, uh, when you're uh, unless you don't know how to swim, but generally speaking, when you're swimming, when you are playing soccer, when you're playing basketball, you can certainly get hurt. You can sprain your knee, break your ankle, tear your ACL, but there isn't necessarily a threat of a lifetime debilitating and or death type of injury. But in both baseball and football, there is. Uh, and we were talking about a teenager. He was just in the news again recently because he received a settlement um, from Major League Baseball, from Sports Authority, and from another entity because in 2006, he's a New Jersey teenager, in 2006 he was a pitcher and he pitched a ball and he took a line drive off an aluminum bat directly to the chest. And it just so happened gives me chills to even say this, it just so happened that when the ball hit at the exact same second in between heartbeats and it sent him into cardiac arrest and he was without oxygen despite the fact that everybody went running to him and they had appropriate people who knew what they were doing and the uh, paramedics were only half a mile away or, or there and about, he was without oxygen for all that time and now he's brain damaged. So 2006, now he's 18, so six years ago, you're talking about a 12 year old who was playing in a game. So the danger of that aluminum bat, um, he gets this multi-million dollar settlement, but he will never live a normal life again. Which all brings me around to the question, do you as a parent or, uh, you know, as an aunt, an uncle, a cousin, do you or would you discourage your child from playing a particular sport because of the fear of injury that can accompany that particular sport? My kids love baseball and softball. They're going to continue to play. I know that that is a freak accident in the sense that it doesn't happen that often, but it can happen. Um, and, and knowing that, obviously we take the greatest level of safety precautions and there actually are chest plates that, that kids can wear now when they're young and they're playing. And But my daughter plays softball and she fell the ball off her forehead just a, you know a couple of months ago can be dangerous, you know, so now she wears the face mask. What as a parent do you do? Do you say, I'm going to be there and I'm going to make that sport as safe for you as I possibly can? Or are you the kind of parent who has said, I'm sorry, you may not play football. I think it is too dangerous. You know, my brother, my uncle, my dad was injured too greatly and it just scares me too much. Because as parents, we have the power to to direct our children in, in certain areas, especially in sports. I would love to know what you think. Please comment below. Um, send me any questions if you have them. Uh, I'm at Danielle Smith TV on Twitter, so I'd love to hear from you if you'd like to tweet me that way or get in touch. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel, and as always, thank you for watching.